Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be covering today is our first video um, looking at statics moment about a point. And all moment is, if we have moment and we're going to label that as M, moment is simply just a force times a distance where that distance is the perpendicular distance to the force to the point you're looking at. So moment will always be a rotation about a point. And let's say if we have a horizontal force, we will need a vertical distance to the point we are looking at to get the moment, which moment is just a rotation. If we had a vertical force, we would need a horizontal distance, which is perpendicular to our force to that point we're looking at. So just keep this in mind as we are moving through with moment about a point. You always need a perpendicular distance to the force or from the force to the point you are looking at. All right. So I'm actually going to move this up here, get it out of the way. So what we have going on here is that we have a 100 pound vertical force that is applied to the end of a lever, which is attached to a shaft at point O as shown here. So we have four parts that we have to determine. Part A, we have to determine the moment of the 100 pound force about point O. So let's work on that one. So moment is just going to be our force times a perpendicular distance. Well, our force is going to be our 100 pounds, 100 pounds, and it is in the vertical direction. So that means that our distance D has to be a horizontal distance. So we need this distance right here because our 100 force will act through that interaction line and it will be that distance right there to over to point O. Well, we are told that this entire level is 24 inches long and it's at 60 degrees off the horizontal. So my dimension D here in the horizontal will just be 24 inches times the cosine of 60 to get that dimension in the horizontal, which is 12 inches. So that means that my moment about point O here will simply just be my force of 100 pounds times my distance, which is my perpendicular distance of 12 inches over to point O. And this gives me 1200 pound inches, because keep in mind, moment will have a force times a distance as its units, and you can either write it as pound inches or inch pounds. Does not matter, it's the same thing. So lastly, you need a rotation arrow. Well, this will just be which way um, that force is causing that motion to occur about point O. So basically what you're going to see is something like this, where you have this lever and then you have this 100 pounds and then you're gonna lock it in here at point O. And you're just gonna see which way, if this lever was constant, let's say it's like a string attached about your point, you're gonna see which way that force is going to be trying to rotate about point O. Well, it's gonna follow this path about point O here, and that rotation will be a clockwise rotation then. So a lot of times in order to find out which rotation you are having, just lock in like a pencil or a rubber band, for instance, lock it in at the point that you're looking the moment about, so this case point O, and then have the other end where your force is acting, and then just slightly move your portion or your rubber band or your pencil in the direction that force is acting, and you will see a rotation occurring there. So that's one way that you can determine the possible rotation direction. Just keep in mind, that moment will have a rotation arrow with it. Alrighty, so that's our answer for part A. Part B, part B states that determine the horizontal force applied at A, which creates the same moment about point O. So now what we're doing is that we are looking for, if this is my point O, we are looking for a horizontal force applied here at point A that would create a 1200 pound inch moment about point O. Well, same thing applies since we, we need the moment about point O to be equal to 1200 pounds. Well, <clears throat> since we have a horizontal force, that means our perpendicular distance will be vertical. So with our equation, what we're gonna have here is that we're gonna have 1200 pound inch 
and it has to be a clockwise rotation. So force F has to be going in this direction, which is to the right. So this would be equal to my horizontal force times my perpendicular vertical distance of D. Well, my vertical distance is already set. It will just be 24 inches times the sine of 60 degrees to get this vertical distance from A to O. And this vertical distance is going to be 20.78 inches. So my equation is this, that I would have 1,200 pound inch of moment is equal to my force times a distance of 20.78 inches. And then we just have to solve for that force, which would be just 1,200 divided by 20.78. And that gives me 57.75 pounds. And it has to be acting to the right for this clockwise rotation to occur about 0.0. All right, so moving on, we have two more to go. And the part C says, determine the smallest force applied at A, which creates the same moment about point O. All righty, so let's redraw our figure real quick for part C. So we are gonna have A, we're gonna have O, and we need to determine the smallest force. So our equation of M equals F times D, well, we are saying that the moment has to be the 1,200 pound inches of, of rotation. So we're looking for the smallest F force here. Well, the smallest F force will, will occur whenever D is the largest. Because if we still have to equal 1,200 pounds, as F is decreasing, D has to increase to its largest capacity. Well, what's the largest dimension that you can have? Well, the largest dimension is the actual length of the lever, which is 24 inches as stated in the original picture. So that will be our distance. D will be 24 inches. So that means that in order to create a 1200 pound inch clockwise rotation about point O here, that means that A would have to be going in this direction, which would try to rotate this entire lever clockwise about point O. So that means that that is a 90 degree angle there acting off of point A. So plugging all this in, I would have 1200 pound inch of moment is equal to my force times my largest dimension possible, which is the 24 inches. So my F would just be 1200 divided by 24, which gives me exactly 50 pounds in that downward right direction. Alrighty, so now we have one more to go, and it says determine how far from the shaft a 240 pound vertical force must act to create the same moment of the 1200 pounds about 0. 0.0. Alrighty, so let's draw a little bit of a free body diagram here, just like what we've been doing with the other parts. So this will be point O, this will be point A. And if we look at what we have going on here, a 100 pound force all the way at point A causes 1200 pound inches of moment. So if we increase our force, our dimension from point O will have to decrease. So that 240 pounds is not gonna be all the way at A, it's gonna be somewhere in between here. We just have to determine what is that dimension that is required in the horizontal to create that rotation of 1200 pound inches of moment. And then we have to determine what is that overall dimension along the lever arm where we have to place that 240. Alrighty. So once again, the 240 has to be going downward for that same clockwise rotation. So what we have going on here is the 1200 pound inches a moment that we have to match is equal to my force of 240 pounds times my horizontal distance D. Well, D will have to be 1200 divided by 240, and that gives me exactly five inches. So that means that this horizontal dimension is five inches. So we were asked to determine how far along the lever arm we have to place this 240, so that would be our L. Well, we know that this angle right here is 60 degrees off the horizontal, so we can utilize the cosine of that to get our length L. So essentially what we would have is L times the cosine of 60 degrees would have to be equal to five inches. So we can just rearrange this. So L would just be five inches divided by the cosine of 60. And this would give us exactly 10 inches along the lever arm. 
So that means if we place a 240 pound vertical force 10 inches along the lever arm, five inches in the horizontal, we would get exactly the same moment as a 100 pound force all the way at the end of the lever arm. And that's how you would work this particular problem. You just have to keep in mind this formation right here of moment equals force times a perpendicular distance. And as your force increases, your dimension has to decrease to create the same moment and then vice versa. So I hope this video is helpful. And I, if you wanna see more problem solve this variety, please check out the other videos on our channel as we're trying to start up this new series of moment about a point. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that does assist us. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.